Today's 1989Batman.com merchandise spotlight is on the Batman movie collection, Batman vs. Joker action figure 2-pack. Uh, there were three 2-packs released in all. We've already looked at the Batman Returns one, which included a Batman and a Catwoman. This time around, we're looking at the 2-pack from the original film, which includes, obviously, a Batman and a Joker. This pack, uh, or all these packs, carry the same motif where you've got sort of the movie logo that each pack is based on. We've got a Batman movie collection thing along the top, sort of a film strip motif, Batman vs. Joker. you got both figures packaged up front with their accessories stuck in the middle there. The back of the package features the other two packs that uh, finished off the line. Oh, it's not going to fall. Okay. Oh, I'm not quite getting it all in there, though, am I? Let's see. Let's bring this up just a little bit. There we go. We see Batman Movie Collection, the complete collection of Batman movie figures. Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever. These were all released the time, around the time of Batman, Batman and Robin to kind of give the heritage of the, from the other films. Since we're looking at Batman vs. Joker, that's the only one I'll read today. Batman vs. Joker, with his evil toothy grin, the Joker hoped to make Batman the punchline to his wicked jokes in Gotham City. The Cape Crusader had different plans in store for this clown. In the end, it was the Joker who was the laughing stock. We've got Batman and Joker together there on the back. Um, I guess that's about it for the packaging, right? We'll take one more look at it from the front. If you want to take closer looks at the packaging, you can hit the info section and it'll take you to a link for still pictures. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at the loose version of these guys. Here we have Batman and Joker out of the package. Sorry if the um, coloring of Joker is sort of blinding you. I can already tell that my camera's not really wanting to focus in on Batman because the Joker figure is so bright. So let's get Joker out of there for a second, and then we'll look at him again in a minute once we have the Jokers out. But for now, let's take a look at Batman. Sorry if I put my hand in front of the camera there. Batman includes this bat cuff accessory that was originally included with the, uh, I believe it was Shadow Wing Batman, maybe? Uh, which started off as a Silverhawks accessory. It's black again here, just like it was with the Dark Knight Collection figure, so there's nothing really new happening there. Batman himself is the same figure that we saw through most of the line with the five points of articulation and the cloth cape. No action feature or anything like that. He's sort of got a purplish tone to the plastic this time around. Uh, take a look at him next to it like a crime attack Batman. So you can see the real difference in the two tones of the figures. Take a look at him all the way around here. There's Batman from behind, in case you want to see that. So that's pretty much your standard Batman. We'll talk about him more once we go to the couch portion of the review. Next up is Joker. So there's your Joker standing there. And he is a repaint of the Sky Escape Joker. As you can see, they went a little crazy with the colors. He includes this POW gun accessory, which was originally a um, Police Academy accessory, I think it was. And it was used for Knockout Joker, and it's pretty much the same motif here with the yellow and the pink and the dark purple letters. But they've added this little stem to the gun, because the original one didn't have that. It wasn't meant for Sky Escape Joker. So they added this little stem on here, which can fit into the smaller hand. Okay. Joker, again, has the same five points of articulation they did originally at the neck, shoulders, and hips. Um... Pretty sure that's glued in. Yeah, the tail coat piece, or the tails on the coat, I'd rather, are sort of a softer, rubbery material, just like they were the first time around. So there's Joker, and there's Batman together. Again, if you want to see still pictures of these, just take a look at the info section if you're watching this on YouTube. It'll take you to a link where you've got still pictures of them, and comparison shots and all that. But for now, let's grab these guys up, along with the Carter version. We'll take them under the couch and do the review. I made you, you gotta say you made me. And how childish can you get, huh? You wouldn't get a guy with glasses on, would you? Huh? Hey, everybody, and welcome to another 1989Batman.com merchandise spotlight. As you can tell from the opening sequence, we're taking a look at the other two-pack in the Batman movie collection that is from the Burton films. Right. We've already taken a look at the Batman Returns, Batman and Catwoman pack, shared our complaints about that. Well, I like the Catwoman. We yeah, the Catwoman was cool. We ended up liking the Catwoman a yeah. lot. 
But the Batman was still disappointing. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was a killer bat. Like, you yeah. had a pretty, crazy, very... Yeah, but still, still it, they could have done something yeah. with it. We already talked about that, though, uh -huh. so we should move so on. Let's move on. Um, as you can see in the opening sequence, the packaging has the large Batman movie logo up top and the Batman written logo down below. You got both figures, a film strip that says Batman vs. the Joker down there, kind of a film strip motif along the top of the package and the bottom of the package. We've got all three two packs in the line Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever. These came out, um, if I remember right, right around the time of Batman and Robin. Yeah. Um, and it was just kind of a way of getting some of the older movie right. lines back into the stores. Mm -hmm. It was a Toys R Us exclusive. They only retailed for eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, which is not bad at all. Five dollars. If you're buying the Batman Returns, then that's really the only one worth buying, in my. Opinion. I kind of like the Batman, but we'll go ahead and. Oh yeah, the Batman's yeah. good. I'm just talking about the other. This one's all like crazy, like messed up. Look yeah. at his, his chin's all pushed in there. That's really weird. All right, so let's tackle them one at a time. First of okay. all, I want to say I do love the packaging. Right, the packaging is awesome. I think it's really cool to have a Batman one and a Batman Returns right, right next to each other. And it was a really neat idea that they were doing this line in the first place. Batman wasn't had been on it from the theaters for eight years right. at the time. And it was kind of showing the legacy of the films in this toy line, which I thought was really cool. Because you had sort of, you know, the main adversary and the good guy from, from each film. Right. Even though they may not have made the best choices when it came to doing the figures, it was still really neat. That they were doing them all. Um, the back of the package I've already read for you, so I'm not going to read it again. Right. You want to start with Batman or Joker? You pick. I just want to get get Joker, Joker over with. This. Okay. Yeah. Joker is a repaint of the Sky Escape Joker, which is originally a redo of the Superpowers Joker. But they did good on it. I like both the, versions are good. I love yeah. Sky Escape. Yeah, that's. that's I totally my agree. Prefer Joker in any Batman line. This time around, though, not so good. They've done this weird, like, creamsicle coloring. I know. It's I like want to, like, Joker. I kind of want to eat this. I don't know why. He's an ice cream man. I gave up on his evil I don't know what they did to this. He's got this orange creamsicle jacket. He's got yellow pants, orange shoes, a pink vest, a He's pink tie, so bad. a blue shirt. You know, it almost looks like a negative. Like a photo negative. I wonder if really a good idea. What you know what? It? What? Like when you look at a negative of a photo it inverses the colors sort of. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is like a negative image of a Joker. I, you know I need to do that. I'll, I'll need to do a negative version. I'm probably totally wrong but it could be like a negative image. But either way it's weird and it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. and it's strange and the paint on the face is really weird. I hate the eyebrows and the lips are terrible. Yeah, they're so terrible. well. They're worse on my package version than they are on this loose version. But either way, it kind of reminds me of Caesar Romero, yeah, like the '60s back yeah. of Joker a little bit. I don't know why. It, it's a great sculpt under there. It's just the paints all over the place. They really messed that Joker up. It's really strange. And then he comes with this uh, pow gun that was originally included with a Police Academy figure, I think, and then it was used again on Knockout Joker. Yeah, and he's been given this. And if it wasn't yellow it wouldn't be so bad but it like matches him he's got a matching gun for his pants oh that's terrible so though. weird man I he looks like, so weird joker i don't mind the batman in this pack i agree i don't mind the batman I either like he's got a really kind of a, a neat he look color? to him a neat I like coloring. The coloring yeah yeah it's it's your standard kind of five points of articulation crime right. attack batman style thing it's not a fully black outfit. It's almost like a dark, dark purple. Yeah, I really do like that design. Yeah, it's really neat. I mean, the color, the cape is still black, but the figure itself is sort of a darkish purple color. And it kind of reminds me almost of the video games of the time, because they couldn't get like a full ah, yeah. black Batman in those 8-bit games, or the 16-bit game. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. It kind of has that coloring to it. It almost would work as sort of a... Sega Genesis Batman right. or something did like that. Can I never made a video game design Joker? I mean, Robocop did that. No, 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 That'd no. That'd be no. kind of cool to have that crossover. Like, that could work as a video oh, game Oh, yeah, Batman. video game Batman versus video game Robocop. Yeah. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. Uh-huh. Uh, and I like it. I like this Batman a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Batman itself. And I would have paid eleven ninety nine. obviously. I did Wait, pay it. Wait, it's around the same price as normal Kenner figures. Yeah. So if you're missing that Batman, like, a long time ago, you're, you've grown up since that movie, but anyway, so you missed the Kenner Batman, you still have a great Batman, and you don't have to worry about the Joker since it's the exact yeah, same price. Yeah, the Joker. You're not, you're not wasting money since it's the exact I don't know how much they price. go for nowadays, though. They can go all over the place. Well, yeah, they can go for like if you bought it bucks. when they came out. If you bought it when they came out, yeah, that was a great time to get, like, a regular right. Kenner Batman. Um... Overall, oh, accessory-wise, he comes with the weird kind of bat cuff thing that I originally came with Shadowwing Batman. Like um, 
Yeah, and it just kind of comes apart and it cuffs around the figure. This was originally a uh, Silverhawks accessory, I believe it was, that was tweaked around it to become really a Batman like one. It. It seems like it be yeah, and then it just it sits on his wrist, and then you can use it to kind of capture the bad guys. Right. It's a, a neat little idea. Yeah. Maybe something Batman would come up with this in a robot out or something mm -hmm. like that. Who knows? Um, overall, both of these packs have their ups and downs. They have their one figure that's kind of totally kind of pointless and right. useless, and one that's like, okay, well that's pretty cool. That's something different. I but still something the, cool. I wouldn't go near the Batman Forever one. I didn't like either figure. I didn't, I really yeah, I don't, they were getting with crazy poses yeah. there. If you could just take the Batman from the Batman pack and the Catwoman from the Batman Returns Doesn't pack, a good, it's a perfect pack. I know. Yeah, I would love that pack. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's it, right? Yep. So if you hit the info section, it'll take you to a link where you can look at still pictures of this if you want to check them out. Um, other than that, I guess that's it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to sign off, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.